Prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we start this Holy Mass, let us prepare ourselves by acknowledging our many sins, by asking God's forgiveness, and by entrusting ourselves to God's merciful love. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in this season gave your church the grace to imitate devoutly the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the Passion of Christ, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son, and come at last to the fullness of his grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, Terror on every side. Denounce. Let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, 
who probe mind and heart. Let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Please all stand. Salita mo, Cristo Magnal, Espiritu Ay, Nagtutulot ang akamay. Sana na nais makamdan ang langit na walang hanggan. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are gods. If it calls them gods, to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where, that, where, John, the, where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, 
as we draw near whole, the Holy Week, we see in our Gospel today the growing tension and the seriousness of the conflict between Jesus and the Jews, especially the elders, the scribes, and the Pharisees. They could simply not believe in what Jesus was saying. They could not believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Hirap na hirap silang paniwalaan na si Jesus ang anak ng Diyos. But Jesus tells them in our Gospel today, do not only base your belief in the words that I say. Kung yung salita ko lang ang pagbabasihan nyo, huwag kayong maniwala sa akin. But look at what I am doing. Look at my works. And you will realize that my works are the works of the Father. Huwag lamang yung salita ko ang gawin ninyong batayan kung maniniwala kayo sa akin o hindi. Tingnan ninyo yung aking ginagawa. At kung yung ginagawa ko ay gawain ng Ama, maniwala kayo dahil sa mga gawa. Siguro po kung sa ating bokabularyo sa panahon ngayon, parang sinasabi ni Jesus, may resibo ang lahat ng aking sinasabi. Ang aking mga salita, mapatutunayan nyo sa aking gawa. And that is important, my dear brothers and sisters, because we can only trust people whose words are translated to actions. This is the experience of Jeremiah, as we heard in our first reading today. Despite the many difficulties, sufferings, and persecutions, even threats to his life, because Jeremiah remained faithful to his mission of speaking God's word, Jeremiah always puts his trust in God. And Jeremiah trusts God because he has seen how God works in his life and in the life of his people. Napatunayan na ni Jeremiah na pwedeng pagkatiwalaan ang Diyos. Hindi lamang dahil sa kanyang mga salita, kundi yung kanyang salita na nakikita sa mga ginagawa ng Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, we can always argue about words. Yung mga salita, pwede nating questionin, pwede nating pagdebatihan, pwede nating pag-awayan pa nga. But actions are beyond arguments. Kapag merong gawa, mahirap na yang questionin. Katunayan na ang mga gawa. Words are cheap. Promises are easy to make. Kahit sino naman kayang mangako, kahit kailan pwedeng mangako. But Jesus tells us today, credibility and integrity lie not only in beautiful words, in beautiful promises, but in concrete actions. Huwag mong paniwalaan kung puro lamang pangako 
at puro lamang mabubulaklak na salita. Hingan mo ng resibo. Tingnan mo ang nagawa. At yan ang magpapatunay kung pwedeng pagkatiwalaan. At ganyan din po sa ating buhay. Napakarami nating binibitawang salita araw-araw. We make so many promises every single day. But the test of our integrity does not depend on our words. They depend on our actions. You will prove yourself to be trustworthy not by your words, but by your words that have been translated to actions. Pwede ka bang pagkatiwalaan dahil yung iyong mga salita ay iyo talagang ginagawa? Dahil kung yung salita mo ay nananatiling salita at hindi naging gawa, pangako, pero hindi mo naman tinupad, pwede ka bang pagkatiwalaan? My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is credible because what He says is consistent to what He does. And in the end, concrete actions of goodness and love are the only genuine measure, genuine test to authentic faith in God. Please all stand. Let us pray that God may continue to guide us through His prophets so that we may spread the message of Jesus Christ. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through its leaders, may fulfill her mission of proclaiming the Gospel without compromise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the message of Jesus, like leaven, may influence every level of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That Christians may seek self-discipline, especially during this penitential season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who imagine that they do not need the sacrament of reconciliation may be moved to humble repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us pray for the people who need our prayers. And let us pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, you sent us the words of the prophets to sustain our hope. Grant that we may be strengthened to do your will and to witness to our faith in you through our lives, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received the heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, may we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with this very Spirit, 
who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May He make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may He keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with, your, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sin against us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, lies, deceptions, and evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.